Hello everybody. Today we are going to see the demonstration of experiment 8 that is measurement of Hertz resistance. So this electrode what we see, this electrode is the earth electrode. So in this experiment we are trying to measure the resistance offered by this earth electrode. To do this experiment uh, we will have uh, uh, the requirement of two apparatus. One is the Megger kit and then a wooden scale. So this is a wooden scale in which we have marked a reference of 1 meter and 1.5 meters. These vary depending on the requirement of the experiment conduction or the question paper given in the lab. And um, uh, from the earth electrode, this will always be the reference point. Uh, given the value of capital D, which is the distance, the total distance between earth electrode and uh, current electrode, uh, and small d, which is the spacing of the potential uh, electrode P. Uh, by knowing these two values, we will be starting to conduct this experiment. Assuming that we have capital D as 10 meters and small d as 1.5 meters, the whole demonstration has been executed. Um, so here, at every uh, interval of 1.5 meters, we have marked a position to uh, you know, place the electrode at that particular point. So this is 1.5, and from this, re this as reference, another, this is three meters. So earth as an electrode, uh, earth electrode as a point, we are placing this flower, or the, marking the position of this point as three meters, and hence then we have 4.5 meters, six meters, 7.5 meters, 9 meters, and finally, when we have to mark the position of the 10 meter uh, point from the 9 meter reference, from the 9 meter reference, Mark one meter point and place the electrode. This electrode is nothing but a metallic plug. We have to insert it in the ground. So this is the position of the electrode C. Now that we know that the earth electrode and the current electrode are fixed at its extreme ends, we have to place the position of potential electrode in between. So the first point to take the measurement is at 1.5 meters as D, where the P electrode is connected. Now let us move, uh, this is the setup of uh, taking the readings at uh, intermediate points. Now let us move ahead to uh, use the earth resistance kit or also called as a Megger kit. This Megger kit comes with a battery bank which is already loaded with uh, the uh, cells with right in right polarity uh, in right polarities so this is the earth tester kit which comes with uh, the points of marking earth electrode which is indicated by black color potential electrode indicated with green color and current electrode indicated with red color so we have two readings displayed on the display meter which is volts as well as ohms, but we will be measuring the ohms. So we are using this to measure the resistance. Then this is off battery check. So initially, while we check whether the batteries are working fine or the whole mega kit is working fine, we click on this button and we will see that the uh, needle raises above zero. And uh, since we are using this instrument to measure the resistance now, you will not tackle with this button you will click on measure button. So let us see how to connect the mega kit with the uh, electrode uh, terminals. Please note that the black terminal is connected to the earth electrode. The red uh, terminal is connected to the current electrode at the farthest end. And then the potential electrode green color is connected to take the first reading of this experiment. Always, the first reading of the experiment begins with 
small d as the first value and then the last reading will always end as capital D minus small d. Alright. It is always lesser than capital D. The last reading is always lesser than capital D. Please note. So now, once uh, you click on the off battery check and see that the needle moves, then click on measure button and 1 ohms. So initially, with the uh, terminals connected to all the three uh, electrodes, respectively, click on the off battery check and you will notice that the needle deflects beyond, uh, closer to 6 volts, that is beyond this point where it indicates that the battery is working in good condition. Once this is uh, checked, then you have to click on measurement button because we are using this device to measure the resistance and not the voltage. Right? So you, you should not meddle with this button. So click on the measure button. So you have the first uh, value um, that is for small d as the first reading 1.5 meters. The resistance it indicates is the value between 6 and 7 that is 6, 6 and uh, 8 that is 7.4 to 7.6. So I can take a mean of it as 7.5 ohms. Right? Then now when we have to change the position of the, this is the uh, first reading, we are already done with the first reading. To take the second reading, now we have to move the uh, P electrode, that is the potential electrode from its first position to the reading of its next position. So before you do, uh, you touch the electrode by your new, uh, bare hands, you have to switch off the uh, mega kit, disconnect the black terminal and then touch the earth electrode by hand and move it to the second point that is the distance between the earth electrode and the P electrode now will be 3 meters. Once the potential uh, term, uh, electrode is uh, placed at 3 meters to take the second reading, connect the black terminal to the mega kit again, click on off battery check look at the condition of the battery, then press measure button. So now you will notice that the reading is deflect, the needle is deflecting to 8 ohms. So for the second reading, which is twice of D, so 2 times of 1.5 is 3, for that we have the resistance indicated by 8.0. Now the procedure is uh, to uh, click on off battery check, disconnect the black terminal, and then move the potential electrode from this point to the next point of reading and connect the green electrode. Connect the black terminal again, off battery check and click on measure button. So now you see that the value of R has increased to 8.6. For, uh, for the third reading, it is 8.6. The resistance offered is 8.6 ohms. So off battery check, disconnect. So likewise, repeat the procedure for the further steps. So... Please note, first when the multiplier range is at 1 ohms and the needle deflects beyond 10, then you have to shift to into 10 ohms. So whatever is the reading you get on this, multiply with 10 will give you the value. So here we have two values which went in uh, multiplier of 10 range and these two are indicated here. So we have a tabular column of uh, the values of D versus R. And for these values, we have to plot a graph. And further, I will uh, uh, show you how to uh, take the readings from the graph. In the graph sheet, in the x-axis, mark for uh, distance in meters. In the y-axis, mark for resistance in ohms. So write the scale respectively 
and uh, these were the readings we obtained when we did the experiment uh, uh, in the uh, outside so let us mark the points at 1.5 meter we had 7.5 so this will be the point at 1.5 so similarly mark the rest of the points so once all the po uh, points are marked in the graph sheet in a free hand uh, uh, use a, a free hand uh, drawing and connect all the joints from 0 till the 20th ohm once all the dots are connected make a note of a small calculation where you need to uh, know and calculate 100% of D that is cur uh, currently the capital D is 10 meters so 100% of 10 meters is 10 meters itself 75% of D is 7.5 meters 50% of D 50% of D is 5 meters and 25% of D is 2.5 meters. So all of those points are also marked in the graph and extrapolate the points between 25% of D and 75% of D. To calculate our average, we have to consider the points that fall in between these regions. So, so we have the points. If you look at the tabulation column, we have the points between 25% that is 2.5 meters and 7.5 meters. So these are the points that fall in between this region. So our average is given by the sum of the points that fall in between these regions that is 8 plus 8.68 8.6 plus 9.2 ohms plus 12 ohms divided by what is the number of average that we have taken 1 2 3 and 4 so when you calculate this you get the final value of the resistance offered by the electrode point E. So as per the calculation and the graph, you can see that our average will fall in between, uh, uh, will, will be the average of the points that fall in between 25% of D and 75% of D. And we have taken the average of all those and calculated it. We get our average as 9.45 ohms that means to say the resistance offered by the electrode E at that given point is 9.45 ohms which is way too tolerable for the system to um, handle any um, sudden currents that flow into it. Thank you so much.